Okay, Mocha, mm -hmm. Angels, do you guys mind if I address something or someone very directly? Good. COVID, wrap it up, bitch. Mm -hmm. Because these mask mandates have me out here almost making very serious mistakes. I was at the gym today and I was making some very serious, direct, uninterrupted eye contact with what I thought was a little bit of eye candy, you know? He was giving like Sean Mendes gym rat vibes. Not usually my tea, but I was like, I'm feeling experimental, you know? Well. Girl, let me tell you what. That mask came off, child. He had a full on 80s molestache without any beard to connect it to. Mm -mm. He went from Sean Mendes to David Arquette real quick. Now listen, <laughs> I'm not here to judge, but what the fuck is that? Mm -mm. Wrap it up, bitch. Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie. Hell. We in a hurry. Okay. okay. Good morning, angels. I'm Nikki Elliott Nelson. And I'm Mocha Pennington. And this little dumpster fire you're about to watch is a little something we like to call Tea Time. A channel where we like to discuss YouTube drama and all its essence. And all of its dirty little essence. Now, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Because if you do, an angel gets her wings, y'all. Now, y'all know. Every time Trisha Paytas makes a move, we're on it like flies on shit. Well. Couple things that we have to point out. Let's just start at the top. I think it is some dark times and some dark days for our very good friend, Trisha Paytas. Love her a million. She's, you know, I got her on speed dial. We were just talking a few minutes ago. I'm sorry. Well, honey, I, could, I couldn't bring it to tell her. I couldn't, so I'm gonna tell y'all instead. So y'all know. <laughs> She, after she, I know little mama is feeling quitting frenemies. I know for a fact she has Oh, to. honey, she regrets that decision. But she regretted that a long time ago. The day that she walked out, she was like, what the hell did I do? What she the thought she could have dropped that, honey. Do? And it didn't happen. First of all, everyone's replaceable. And I would just like to say, like, as, I don't know. Have y'all ever seen the movie Home with Rihanna? Y'all remember the Booth? Their talent was, like, running away. Relatable. <laughs> Like, fucking relatable. I will nope the fuck out of any situation where I feel like, nope, later days, I gotta get the fuck out of here. But I feel like... They're, pro they're, <laughs> like they're running away from fucking, their problems. They're, like, running away, hiding. Like, those were their... That's what they were known for. That's what they did. And if you're going to do that with the damn bill collector... Girl! Girl! The light bill would never get paid again. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm out, bitch. Uh -huh. Gotta go. I need to see that movie. It's on Disney Plus. It is no. It, it's it's a, a Pixar. No, bitch. It's DreamWorks, and uh -huh. you know DreamWorks. Uh -huh. DreamWorks be missing sometimes. Like sometimes they be hitting, but yeah. DreamWorks be missing. But they did a little something special at home. Plus, y'all know my girl Jennifer Love. I'll be fooled by the rocks that I got. She's in that movie. Yes. Good for her. Oh, okay. I yes. thought she was about to try to play my No, girl. as long as no one just leaves their music or their man around her, honey, they're fine. Listen, she don't go without a job or a man. Okay. And then she has to take yours from you. To <laughs> she, she, will. she will. She fucking will. Don't think twice about you it. You can't hate the initiative, but I just feel like I get Trisha where she's like, this is an uncomfortable situation. I want out of there. But, I mean, I think homie is finding out that leaving Ethan in the lurch was a bad fucking move. Uh -huh. Because little Mr. Ethan done, first of all, he takes every opportunity he can to play her out. He plays her out with trying to make it look like he's not playing her out, but he's definitely playing her out. Honey. So she's probably looking, feeling stupid. Well. You know, then he done got Hassan the hun who... You know, when his stylist is really on a game, whoever his style, okay. Whenever he has the proper haircut <laughs> and the right beard action, you know, Hassan can be an 11. Now, sometimes he, you know, chooses a very unwashed liberal look. That takes him down to about a seven, you know, well. a six. But uh, the material is all there. Anyway, Ethan done scooped him up a little something, something, put together a new podcast and said, bye, bitch. Have they premiered it yet? Yeah, girl, it's out. Oh, is it? It, it, it is. Doing well, what are they talking about? I mean, about? well, let's in here. They talk about politics, which, you know, it's not. Look, uh, I, you know. <laughs> kind of like we've opened up the Bible. 
<laughs> they talk about politics, so it's not going to be everybody's gig. Yeah. But they're doing better numbers than Trisha's rebranded channel. Y'all yeah, remember she has the My Chemical Imbalance channel, which really talks about like mental health. And I just feel like Trisha doesn't have the range to talk about mental health. And I guess she like figured that out for herself because she rebranded this channel into this like a fucking meditation channel. Which we can talk about all of the reasons why that is ironic as fuck. Well, like, we can talk about that. But before we do, let's talk about like the numbers that this channel is doing. I clicked on just for a little look see, and I was just like, "Girl, you're Come doing tea. Lou. You're doing tea time numbers. You should be ashamed." Oh of yeah, like honey. bitch. How we get more views than you? That don't make sense. Now, of course. Those videos had only been out for like a couple of hours, maybe a day, mm -hmm. you know. Give it a day or two, she'll be outnumbering again. But okay. still, but still, girl, I'm concerned. I mean, I don't think anyone wants to like watch her like meditate and... Okay, also, can, we can talk about why this is like very ironic. It's fucking meditation, girl. Ain't supposed to be like, what are what is everybody supposed to watch? Like, you just sitting there and like... First of all, like when you meditate, girl, I've been taught how. I've never been successful at doing it. Because I every time I try to med a bitch will try to meditate and I'll be like, okay, so I am compiling a list of all the things that I could be doing um, that I'm not because I'm sitting here trying to not think about anything. This ain't working. <laughs> well. This ain't working. So you're not supposed to think about it. Um, you are supposed any... to remove all thoughts from your mind. You are supposed to be void of any thoughts, which is like me on any given day. But like, That'd be... like girl, the absent of thought, like you're just- I mean, I want to learn how. It does seem like it'd be a little difficult. Child, I give up I mean, on thinking about all the embarrassing things I did like 15 years ago. Well, then on top of that, I'm just like, I could be planning for my future. Instead, I'm sitting here doing nothing. Now I know the angels are gonna give like 15 billion health benefits of meditating, but listen, I'm some shit- sure. I'm sure. I'm sure I will, I'll never see it. Yeah. I'll never see it. I'll never enjoy it. I'll never know what it feels like because some things aren't my ministry. But can we talk about like how ironic it is that girl, you you hit record. You rebranded an entire channel so people could watch you meditate. Then she do like like I don't know. So like gives people like advice or something or something like spiritual. Like then I'm calling the police. <laughs> I'm calling the cops. Like, I'm know. going to Karen this entire experience. Fuck this. This is stupid. Mm -mm. Call I'll, Susan. I'll, that's it. Like this, she needs to be. St I feel like this is like the perfect example of how. Like, listen. I am. I'm saying it gets dangerous when you don't have like a clear life plan. Like, here's the thing. None of us really. For for all of my, you know. 18, 19, this is really lower than our demographic, but I'm sure there's something like, <laughs> like, don't you ever for a second think that people grow up and they have this big life plan and they're just like, they plan it and they're going with it. That is a very small percentage of the population. Most of us are just like, fuck it, let's wing it. Let's do it, right? Yeah. Um, I say like 10% of the population are like, okay, my life is going to go exactly like this and that's how it goes. But I feel like Trisha has really made a come up like doing what she's like a do what I can girl like whatever like for a minute she was taking it like any reality show that I was offering a check mm -hmm. she was taking it um she'll re she's really going on to prove that she'll do just about anything she and does I feel her like music she does her music which I can't make the box not bop I don't know what I that think I heard I heard one song by her it was like a few years ago. And I was like, okay, this isn't that bad at all. I can't make the box not bop. But does she only do like singles? She doesn't put out like an album. I don't think she has the range. She doesn't have the range. Like if you accumulate all the singles that she put out, it could be an album. Box on box. You know I what know I'm saying? I know that she like goes on, on tour or whatever. She like mm -hmm. performs. I mean. She plays the back and track. I, I, of what <laughs> I've seen, the mic is on, but so is the backing track. Can't hate on that. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. You're doing what you have to do. But also, like, I feel like at this point, we might be living to the point of access. Like, I don't know. I don't like to be in people's pockets. But I hope the investments were there, sweetheart. Because um, you've gone on to rebrand a channel. I, I just think you're really trying to do whatever it takes to stay um, afloat oh, at this point. Oh, of course. Point. Like, um, I thought you were going to say relevant. Yeah, well... 
<laughs> Not too much of a stretch, but I think Homegirl is doing whatever it takes to stay afloat. I mean, the TikToks have been back to rolling out, back to back to back okay. to back. What, the life Trisha is living now is certainly not the one that she was accustomed to when she was doing Frenemies every week. Yeah. That's just, it is what it is. Hopefully and it's kind she of did like investments. I and hope so too. You would think, like, you never know. Like, she could put on like this persona, but like behind the scenes, honey, she's a smart business woman. She has like 14 yeah. businesses. So I think you have to either be I really smart or 10 karat crazy. And yeah. I think Trisha might be a little bit of both. If I'm just being honest. Yeah, she like, knows how to brand herself. I mean, or she's tr trying listen, to rebrand herself. Now, Courtney really Love, working. if 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 you guys believe what they say in those documentaries, like Courtney Love wrote her entire life plan down on a fucking napkin and someone found it in her basement one day and everything on that fucking napkin, she did it. And these were not like highly strategic moves. These were moves like hang out with XX rock star. That was like bullet point one. Uh -huh. Bullet point, just like completely arbitrary shit that she was like, no, I'm going to do this and I'm going to fucking nail it. So, you know, I, here's the thing. I'm not saying Courtney Love is exactly smart. I'm saying she's really ambitious and maybe a little bit off her rocker. Trisha mm -hmm. Paytas might have the same thing going on. And she could. Even just though, not as fabulous as Courtney Love. Well, and <laughs> Courtney Love, as far as I know, I mean, there was that thing with Kurt Cobain. You know, we're going to, we can't prove it. We can prove that Trisha Paytas, at least at one point, was an asshole. So, because mm. she's trolled every marginalized community there is, mm. just for a little coin. You know sure what I'm saying? But we don't have to talk about. It. Can we talk about? Um, but you know, all this in tow, she's kind of reached a new low. Um, you know, people have been making fun of her little relationship that she has with Moses, because you know Moses. What is he offering? Moses is given like what? Like um help around the house. And he You know? He's half water, so I'm pretty sure he hydrates her. He's like hydrating her and watering yeah. her plants. He, and, he like pains, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he brings her like happiness and peace. And that's cool or whatever. But you know, she's uh taken to TikTok to do a little bit of a little bit of trolling. Um, I would roll the, the TikTok video right now. However, um, it seems that even in her trolling, she's not very creative because you've seen this TikTok from at least three other creators. It's the one where the husband sets his alarm for really early in the morning. He gets up, wakes up the wife, helps her brush her teeth, helps her put her shoes on, helps uh -huh. her get her ready for work, packs her lunch, this, that, and the other. You guys seen this one before? You have, you have, you've seen it somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess Trisha thought, you know, hey, I will appropriate this for my own means as well. And she certainly did, honey. And, um, yeah. you know, I guess she's trying to turn the whole thing into a joke and be like, oh, I don't care. Aren't we the kooky, cool, funny couple? <laughs> she, she says it just like that. Just like that. <laughs> just like, like, in exactly that, like, tone of voice and timber, like. <laughs> just like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> she does. I was just on the phone with her, bitch. How you gonna tell me? <laughs> I was agreeing. And sometimes her and Moses say at the same time. They do. Actually. And they do actually, the, the actions. <laughs> no, yeah, they, they like the stand there. They, like, <laughs> they do. Sometimes if you get like the extended cut on her, um, um, on her OnlyFans, they do it without any clothes on. Oh. Both of them. Well, thank goodness I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's not for the faint of heart. It's not. You know, well, what do you call it? It is what it is, you know? Um, but but yeah, at she, least she can laugh at her. I mean, she she sometimes can laugh at herself. Like, sometimes she... It depends on her mood, I guess. I guess. I mean, like, some people, like, make fun of her. She's like, oh, my God, that's so funny. And other people, she's... <sighs> Trisha has no problem being TikToks. like... I can't decide how I want my hat. I'm sorry. It happens. Trisha has no problem being the butt of the joke as long as she's making herself the butt of the joke. Yeah. It's when other people, like, try to have a laugh at her expense that she, like, like oh, has hell a no. Which kind of, like, it's acceptable. Like, sometimes you have to treat yourself like you would treat a friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be friends with yourself. So, like, the thing is, like, it's okay if I say something about my friends. But it's not okay if you say something about my friend. You see what I'm saying? And so, like, sometimes in that situation, it's just like, no, it's okay if I say something about me. It's not okay if you say something about me. That's the well. difference. So, I get, listen, 
I mean, do I think she's batshit crazy? Absolutely. Do I think she's a terrible person? That's not, I don't, listen, I don't have a heaven or hell to put old girl in. Mm -hmm. um, would I hang out with her? Hell no. Would oh, you God. hang out with her? No, I would not. Well, I think my main reason is she's one of those girls who'll tell your fucking business. Mm -hmm. I don't like that <laughs> shit. Listen, like, uh, angels, dolls, like, let me just, like, life advice. Because I was, like, literally thinking about this the other day. If I just... Don't hang out with Trisha Payton. <laughs> I mean, don't hang out with Trisha Payton. Life Payne, advice. But, like, if you meet somebody and, like, within, like, an hour of you meeting them, they're talking shit on people that you know mutually, laugh, listen... Because they could be right. Just because they're talking uh -huh. shit don't mean they're wrong. Yeah. Listen, but like, cut that hoe out your life. Because that, don't nobody need that kind of energy. Yeah, don't be, the, and don't be their best friend, honey. Trisha gives me very, like, gonna talk shit the minute, like, either the minute she walk away or the minute, like, she feels like you've betrayed her. It's... Yeah, yeah, I feel right. like she's a, like if you're her good friend, I feel like she she'll hold you down. She'll hold she'll hold your seat. Like she held mm -hmm. held Shane down until she heard that he was talking about her. But all he did was call her a pathological liar. And did he lie? Well, honey, that was enough. She said, "Oh, okay." I mean, he, he told the truth, and this is his punishment. Well, she put out that dry ass hair up, honey. She said, "Well, we're about to go." You know, I was thinking the other day. I don't even think Olaplex would say that. No, not anymore. No, I think it is it's, gone. It's, it yeah. is time for the big chop, sweetie. Yeah, she should like really just like chop it to the roots and just yeah. like wear like a lace wig yeah. for like like six months. Yeah, Let get it some grow fusions. Out. Are the girls still doing fusions? Mm -hmm. Are they really? Girl, get you some fusions. Hardly anyone could tell. Like, I guess Brittany had fusions, <laughs> and I could only tell because she she was doing some choreo one day, and I was like, oh, you know, I did the free, freeze frame, and, and I was like, like oh. oh. I mean, okay. sometimes it's, if they put it, their hair up in a ponytail, you see all, I mean, all the little, you see it, and it's like, oh, like do you remember Tana? Those are tracks. I think she has a tape in Tana who? Mojo. Oh, Tana, I remember she would. Well, Tana Mojo is a hot mess. Well. Express. Anyway, Angels, what do y'all think about that tea? You know, let us know in the comments below. Y'all gonna watch Trisha's and Gabby's podcast? Okay. Y'all watching Trisha and Gabby's podcast? Allegedly. If it's Allegedly. Y'all gonna watch? Because you know, apparently Miss Trisha gonna turn up the heat in December. And thank fucking God, I'm ready. Well. Bring it on, girl. Shit. It's December. Can't go to hell. <laughs> anyway, angels, let us know. Mocha, anything before we head out? Yeah, check the description box. We have the links to our handles and um, our discount codes. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing my face, my books, mm -hmm. everything, honey. Mm -hmm. This is a grab bag. You know what, y'all? This might be TMI, but to make these videos, we have to like turn off the ace, like the heating and cooling in the house. And I just felt the first drip of sweat down my lower back. So we're gonna go. <laughs> but until next time. Keep stepping. You know, our Instagrams are almost like our videos, except for they don't talk. Some would consider that an upgrade. Either way, they're not going to follow themselves, so pop on over and give us some love.